Hey everyone, welcome back, and um, we're playing a very different game than usual. This is a Planetary Annihilation, um, with the Legion mod installed, and we're going to be playing as the Legion this round, and if you don't know what this game is, um, I would really recommend tuning in because it's a very different RTS experience. And what I mean by that is rather than it being a flat playing field, it uses, well, planets. And oh boy, we're in for quite the treat here. Hopefully. Um, let's add... Let's do a couple of those being legions, and then we're just going to let the game go from there. So, uh, this is the legion mod that adds a second faction to the game. So, yeah. Uh, my character is the Hive Tyrant. That is a Warhammer 40k reference, for those of you who are not aware of that. Um, and... Um, it's loading slowly. Mm -hmm. I'm a little curious how it'll load with recording going because I've never actually tested it and this is kind of a live run. So. Wow, that is loud. Um. Um, okay, let's just turn that down. There we go. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to probably modify that in post a little bit, but that, um, that just happened. We're gonna spawn on the moon. Why not? And let's go. So you might get a little nauseous during this, and I apologize for that. But basically, it's a three-dimensional RTS kind of thing. So I always start out by building a uh, flyer foundry, or aircraft first, followed by the surrounding... Let's see, I gotta read these real fast. Metal depots. And then I just have the commander build a bunch of power stuff in the meantime. I'm not very good at this, just as a heads up. Um, I've never really done competitively. I mostly just play with friends. So I'm good enough to beat my friends, but I don't think I'm good enough to beat real players who religiously play this game. So that's all that matters. I can beat my friends. So we're going to go and we're going to build a um, radar real fast just to make sure that there's no uh, no bad guys lurking about. So this way we have an idea of what to expect if we have to go on the offensive or if we're free to colonize this planet in total. And if we can colonize this planet in total, then we can use the flyers to capture all these mass points. And we, then we can basically start conquering the other areas. And it looks like we actually have uh, two rival factions on this map. That's great. That's real great. So we're going to go ahead and build a armor foundry. And then we're going to start actually specializing our um, flyers to start kind of sporadically building. That's going to build that there. We're slowly losing power, so he's got to go a little faster. But we're also going to need some random defenses. So we're going to do... Um, one of those, one of those, and one of these right there, just because. We're going to need to go a little faster here, because power is not readily available. So we're going to have this builder help the uh, commander unit out. So the main goal is to actually destroy the opponent's commander unit. 
So sometimes I'll do um, rushes with uh, suicide bombers and just go straight for the commander. That usually does a pretty good job. Okay, power is definitely the biggest threat right now because I am currently having a really bad efficiency ratio. But that'll change pretty quickly once this finishes. There we go. Okay, now we actually have passive power. Um, let's get a couple of um, scout tanks out. And then we're going to send them in and just sort of like harass them a little bit. Nothing too big, just something simple to get their attention temporarily. So they're starting to actually duke it out by the looks of it. Oh, I do not want that. Not at all. So they're going to start to duke it out. Oh, they're starting to go after me, it looks like, but the commander unit's got me covered. So, I gotta, hopefully this can finish a little bit faster. There we go. That's going to do a lot when it comes to defending this area. We're going to build a bunch of these little guys here. Um, we're going to set the relay point right there. And we have to go a little faster with this, but... Hmm. Power is slowly building up. In fact, I'm going to have this guy move and build a storage silo. Speak of the devil. Let's see, this guy only has to do that, so we're going to have him build a hive as well as some AA because they're specializing in aircraft. And that is unbelievably annoying. Let's see. I don't think any of these have anti-air capabilities. That's great. So we're going to need to build more fabricators and finish up the mess that they left behind. Hmm. Good to see my rally point didn't set. That's great. Okay. So first things first, AA is going to be definitely needed. So we're just going to build a bunch of AA, and then he's going to go through and finish the buildings that were started but never finished. And then we're going to have another flyer foundry go through just to reinforce that. Mm. So, hmm. We're going to cancel his orders and have him build a 2 AA there. And then we're going to move our tanks up here. I need to go a little bit faster, but while we're at it, let's see, metal is kind of a bit iffy, but we got this covered. They're starting to do suicide attack runs. So we're going to build a couple jackals here to fix that problem. So hopefully they can repair the uh, metal extractor fast enough. In the meantime, though... Let's So this is going to be a little interesting to see if we can uh, um, outbuild the AI here. So I got a really uh, let's see uh, shotgun tank. Shotgun tanks are going to be really good with dealing with those swarms of scarabs. Because I'm pretty sure that one of the AI is going to be using a lot of those pretty soon. Is that mine or is that theirs? That's mine. Okay. So we're going to build a scarab. And then we're going to build... Um, well, I think over here is actually mildly okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build a walker factory and see what kind of fun stuff we can push out. Um, wow, it's been a long time since I've actually done like a real RTS where I have to actually like, think about what I'm doing. This is kind of fun. So I'm just, I'm not trying to um, finish the game. I'm just trying to do a little bit of uh, harassment here and cost them metal and resources. Because that's always important if uh, you can get them to um, spend resources on small, weak attacks. Which is exactly what they're doing. So, let's see. 
just to make things more hard, difficult for them, we're going to start building defenses near their base. And then we're going to start doing, uh, let's see. Well, we know we can actually expand over here, so we're going to do that. We're going to build metal extractors over here, followed by some occasional jackals and shredders. These guys are actually doing a pretty good job of pushing through and doing some damage, which is cool, which is good to see. Because these two are too busy fighting each other, which gives me a little bit of time to actually prepare. Um, that'll be kind of fun to push out there. Let's get some artillery going while we're at it. So... And bombers will also be fun to have. Um, okay, good. The swarm thing is produced. And it looks like we have some shredders in the area, so we're going to build a scarab. Because why not? And... Okay. Let's move in for the kill. Okay, that's their commander unit. We're gonna have to rush that pretty soon and try to try to get rid of them. So it's gonna be a little difficult to do, but I think we can figure something out. Is that mine? Okay, good, it is mine. Um let's see, where is my I need more uh, fabricators. There we go. Rebuild that and build a jackal. Or some jackals, I guess. And then you, I want you to produce more metal extractors so that way we can uh, better get more resources. Followed by... Let's do their jackal up here, because why not? What else can we add here to really, uh, really throw them for a loop? I'm gonna build an advanced flyer factory, and that'll uh, that'll really help out because we can start pushing out some advanced defenses and uh, give the battlefield a new spin. That's not good. Um. So it looks like those uh, suicide bombers are kind of. Making things a little difficult for me. I don't want them going into orbit anytime soon, so we're gonna put a stop to that. And I want this guy to repair some of those. Um, that's gonna take a lot of time. But if we can rush them here, we can might be able to put a stop to their uh, antics relatively quick. Um, yeah, so these guys will just be a quick little sort of, uh, not invasion force, but more of a, um, you know, go die in a hole force. So, not built for anything too big, but maybe to, uh, do some damage or not. I mean, I need an orbital factory. Let's see, let's get some flyers out. Um, I need more stuff to cause havoc. You, start building that. Um, and you, you're going to help him. Yeah, I should do it. 
we're gonna move these guys forward just a bit um, and these guys are gonna go back them up advanced flyer yes okay let's get some of the advanced guys out so we can start building some fun stuff and we have an air carriers available as well as gunships and a lot of fun stuff that we can start using to really uh, spice up the environment a lot so these two are at war, which gives us the perfect opportunity to be like, well, ravens or crows above the battlefield, watching and waiting for the best time to strike. My swarms are making kind of some havoc over here too, which that's always nice to see. So, uh-oh. There we go. Those shotgun tanks are really good for getting rid of those, uh... Ugh, darn it. They really have... Okay, no, but they're getting close to having... Alright, cool. Let's see... What can we build to really mess things up? Ooh, this will really this will really do some fun stuff. It's basically artillery. <sighs> Let's see. Let's, uh, let's get to space here. We're going to colonize the gas giant and get our resource production really up high. So there's also... Oh, there's a whole space battle going on up there. And I wonder if anyone's colonized the Death Star yet. There's a lot to, lot to still do. So it's not just this planet. There's a lot of other planets too. And once this big heckin' gun is done, things are really going to get fun. So, we're going to move these guys forward just a little bit. Ooh, perfect. So, this is going to be kind of a, some siege tactics here in order to really mess with them. Um, did my orbitals? Yes, my orbitals are good to go. Alright, let's relocate to the poles of the gas giant. And we're going to start building some rigs up there, which will produce a lot of metal and power for us. And allow us to quickly conquer this entire planet without worrying about st starving for resources. But we have some advanced flyers out, so we can really start making short work of the competition. So, we got him. Well, we almost got him. So, and boom. I mean, you can see that from space. Look at that. Uh oh. They've made it into the uh, orbit there, so we're going to have to go a little fast here. Um, so we have these guys on the gas giant, so we're going to produce some uh, starship foundries, as well as uh, um, just some defense satellites, just in case if things get out of control. And you go back up there. All right, let's see if we can get rid of pink by pushing the uh, aircraft carriers that fly onto them. Because that's always fun, right? Not for long. Okay, let's not get too close to them. So these guys will cause quite a bit of havoc on them. Make things really fun for me. So, they don't really do a lot of damage, but that's okay. 
Let's keep uh, pushing those guys forward a little bit. Is the gun out of range? The gun is almost out of range. But let's build another one just in case if we actually might end up needing it. So we're going to build that right there. Well, these guys pumble their base through uh, artillery means. And it looks like that our starship foundry is complete. So we're going to build some. F and let's get a couple rigs going. There we go. So, oh, we got some gunships going. All right. Yeah, these guys will make really short work of a lot of their stuff. Or maybe not. Never mind. Okay. I was very wrong. Yes, I expect them to be taking fire. It's a good thing if they're taking fire. It means they're doing their job. Oh, boy. So the commander's getting wise and trying to actually do something for once. So... I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they can even attack, but whatever. Oh, nope. That's not really doing what I want it to. But that's almost done, so that's all that matters. While we're at it... Oh, hey, we have some bots that we can uh, use, I guess. As cannon fodder. Okay, we have both artillery cannons pointed at their commander now. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Boom. That's two of them I just got down right there. All right. I built too many fabrication bots. <laughs> Whoops. But that actually works in my favorite favor. So we're going to build more rigs. Like a lot more rigs. And then we're going to start mass producing starships. So. Uh oh. That's not, one, that's not good. Okay. We're going to go and get rid of those guys on there. And now we own the planet. So I'm going to go find my advanced fabricators here. Wow, navigating in 3D space is not super intuitive. And we're going to mass produce our advanced max extractors all over the planet so we can make a lot of good resources really fast. So that's actually not too bad when it comes to production, I guess. Um... I want to reclaim like everything. So we're going to just reclaim. So I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't like um, start disassembling my entire uh, operation by accident because that'd suck, but whatever. Uh oh, they're orbiting uh, the laser planet now. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that they can't have it. Alright, everything's peaceful on my little moon now, which is nice. It's always good to have a peaceful moon. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start invading the other planets now, because why not? And we're going to start this process by... Let's do a vehicle assault, because why not? This game also technically has naval battles, if you're on like a planet with water, but... I mean, it's kind of rare for you to actually utilize it. Yeah, these guys are just tearing the area apart for resources. That's always good to see. And that gas giant is providing me with enough resources to provide enough uh, nourishment for an armada. Which is always splendid. So, 
hopefully these guys will start being able to push out these uh, Im um, Imperators. And that way we can uh, start invading planets from the sky. Although in the meantime, I do believe it is within my best interest to... Uh... Okay, no, these guys are good. Alright, uh-oh. We got spies. So, where'd my uh, land factory go? Did I not build anything? Oh, no, there it is. Oh, they're going over here. There we go. All right, that way the uh, land factory will actually build like super fast, which is exactly what we want. So, that's kind of funny that they call it the diplomat, which is used to basically throw moons into larger bodies of uh, size, so, yeah. It's clever naming is what I call it. Is this still uh, pest free? Yes, it is. We own the gas giant. We have claimed it. Although I'm not too sure if that's gonna be the case with uh, the metal planet. I might need to make sure that I actually own it. So we're going to drop down two of these guys here to prevent any construction on the metal planet. So that way we don't have a giant space laser pointing down our necks. Um, I can't really use like my usual keystrokes because this isn't a very, um, like WASD can't be used to navigate, but arrow keys can, I guess, but it's just a lot easier to hold the middle mouse down and just rotate. So, all right, let's, uh, that's your opinion. All right. So we're going to be mass producing these here, and we're just going to be basically sending payload after payload to, um, the other planets. One thing that I do wish I had were the unit cannons, but sadly, those are not available to the Legion Empire. Alright. Let's just do a quick little check here. Okay, good. And... Mass production is still happening up here, which is always good to see. Um, everything's going good here too. I believe that we still have those advanced bots flying around and, okay, good. Yep, they're still clearing out the debris. Then we have the, this guy coming in and building the advanced metal foundries behind them. Then we have an army of these little guys building the big, big boys. So we're going to need, without a doubt, a, um, a bridge. Where is the bridge at? I gotta find the bridge. The bridge, 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 the bridge. Where is the portal? There it is. There we go. And, yeah, we're going to be unleashing absolute domination upon them when the time comes. Where is our orbital array? There it is. So we're gonna build a couple of fabrication ships and those will serve to build portals on other planets for invasion purposes. In the meantime, preparation is needed for our actual army. So we're gonna do Let's see. So this is mostly land-based attacks. We're gonna do scorpions, death marks, panzers, havocs, and more frontline, followed by 
couple of these guys. Hmm. That'll do. So that'll begin the mass production process. We should have quite a bit of units really, really soon. And the floodgates will open. All right. So let's um let's have a little bit of fun here. And hmm. There's not really a lot we can do with the builders right now besides just keep building rigs, which we already have enough of. Our planetary force is pretty much unstoppable. We can actually end the game right now if we wanted to, but I want to have a little bit of fun. So I want to see... Here, I have an idea. We're going to go back to our gas planet here. Cancel all of those. And then we're going to build a... We're going to build a Sputnik, a couple of them, as well as a Cosmos. And we're going to use them to scout the planets out and figure out where they're hiding. This way, when we begin our assault and our invasion, we'll actually be able to properly position our units. And I actually have a little surprise in mind for how we're going to be doing a lot of this stuff. Whoa, that's a big field of view. Okay, um, where is it at? There it is. So, slightly expensive, but it'll do. All right, we need more builders. Oh, perfect. Oh, unbelievably perfect. All right. So this is going to be one where a Titan needs to be built. <laughs> and that's going to be great. And we will be invading Earth by... Not Earth, but you know, Earth. Whatever you want to call it, I guess. We'll be invaded by land once we discover where their base is located. A lot of fabricators. Nuclear missile located... Okay, they gotta go, like, right now. Alright. Um, right here. Okay, this is just... They've just elevated themselves to, like, threat level, uh, midnight. So... That's on them. That's a huge mistake on their part. Alright. So we're going to hopefully have enough time here to build some titans. I don't know if that's going to be uh, good enough, though. Because they have to clear the trees out. That's not good. There we go. Okay. Because those nuke missiles are kind of a threat. We're going to have these guys land on Pax Lava here and build a bridge so we can begin our assault from the moon. Because our army is slowly getting ready. Ever so slowly. And then once Loki's ready, we're just gonna send him right in to the fun. And over here on Pax Lava. Oh, we're landing. Uh, bridge. Uh, Pax Prime. Loki is just about to complete. Oh. Oh boy, the fun has begun. Okay. Um, let's set up these bridges here. And start the fun. The invasion begins on all fronts. Oh, is it only anti-aircraft? Oh, nope, nope, definitely not. 
that's a lot of uh, damage they're doing right there. Um, hmm. Well, that was basically their entire defending home fleet. We have more Titans on their way. In the meantime, though... Perfect. So, Loki didn't last very long. But we're just going to keep building them. Because we can. So... Why not, right? All right. So let's go ruin some stuff, shall we? Wow, they are slow. All right. So, things are getting fun. Let's see what's going on over here. It's a slow creep, but we got something going. And then on Pax Prime. Whoa. That wasn't mine. Was it? No, couldn't have been. I thought I lost my Loki a long time ago. Wait, what? Where? Oh, there it is. They're building one. Alright. So, Titan Wars are commencing now. This is gonna get fun. And... Oh boy. The invasion is commencing. Watch the fireworks. Oh, there he goes. There goes another one right there. So I don't know if that was all of them on the uh, lava planet, but things are definitely about to get really interesting. Like really interesting. Um... I'm going to migrate a satellite over here. And we're going to find out if uh, Pax Lava has any remaining inhabitants. Get rid of the commander. This might be just kind of overkill, but, I mean, who can you blame, really? So we know there's another base on this planet somewhere. Uh-oh. Oh, wow, that's... Yeah, I don't know how I missed that. Okay, we've got a lot more coming to them. So there's going to be no end to the uh, assaults and invasions. So, now we just have these big titans wandering around here, looking for things to kill. So, that's been undiscovered, I guess. 
but I'm pretty sure that we've already killed off all life on the uh, Pax Prime. So there's just two commanders left, one yellow and one orange. Which we haven't found the other one yet. Which is interesting. So he could be either on the um, Earth-like or on this planet. We're going to find out. Oh, no, he's right here. All right. So we're going to probably do a scorpion attack and a scorpion attack. Uh... A fork, pincer, you know, prong attack, whatever you want to call it. I mean, we're using scorpions. I mean, like, you know, it still works. <sighs> wow. That's a lot of damage. I don't think flex table will be able to solve that problem. Look at that, we're still pushing all of our uh, tanks in. There's really no stopping it, is there? Oh, and it's starting. More fireworks. You can see the, uh, the gas planet foundations over there, look at that. Yeah, this is getting really fun. Look at all this damage. No survivors. Alright. Enemy detected, apparently. Let's see, we got even more of them coming over here, so I mean, may as well just go from the front side here and just go for it. <sighs> yeah, they can destroy these, but it's too late. The invasion has already arrived. I don't know what they expect to be able to do to stop it. I mean, seriously. Unless they have a Titan or something. I don't mean, I don't even know if a Titan will be able to stop this. Because, I mean, there's a lot of DPS within all these guys. No, a Titan could probably easily clean this out. I mean, that's what they're built for, is cleaning out stuff like this. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I forgot they could do that. Oh, wow, look at that. Two-sided attack. There's no escape. Alright, where's he at? Huh. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, yep, there we go. Victorious. Da -da -da -da. Huh, look at that. 100% efficiency, too. I'm so Awesome. Not really. Well, hey, um, <laughs> that was kind of fun. So if you enjoyed that, let me know and I might do more 
um, RTS games in the future. I probably will, but in particular, this game, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and have a fantastic